Hi guys, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing Beastly by Alex Flynn. This is a fairy tale retelling of Beauty and the Beast from the perspective of the Beast, and it is set in the modern era in a modern high school in New York, actually one of the really um, elite preppy schools, and the Beast. The Beast's name is Kyle, and he starts off as one of the popular kids. Yet he's really gorgeous, and he has tons of money, and his dad is a news anchor on television, and is just always telling him what a big deal being beautiful is, and he believes the dad, and he is really cruel and mean to anybody who isn't gorgeous, rich, and popular. And while he's at high school, he manages to piss off one of the girls who turns out to be a witch, and she casts a spell on him, and he becomes a beast. And unlike the movie cover here, the beast in the book is hairy and looks a lot more like the beast in the Disney version, where he's part wolf, part bear, part gorilla, and is covered in hair, and just much more grotesque. So when he transforms, he gets really freaked out and he finds out that he, the only way he can break the spell is if he finds a woman who will fall in love with him, he has to fall in love with her in return and they have to kiss. And he has two years to do it or he will remain a beast forever. And this really kind of delves into what's going on in the beast's brain and how this is affecting him and how he changes in an attempt to take the curse off, but also partway through he kind of starts giving up that maybe he won't take the curse off and accepting and just trying to make his life better. The beauty character in this book is Lindy. She is a not rich student. She got into the school on a scholarship and her brains, her family isn't well off, her dad's kind of a jerk, and so how she and Kyle meet is really kind of cool and one of my favorite parts of this book and I don't want to spoil it too much. The romance between the two of them is very romantic and simple and kind of, it's a fairy tale. It's kind of cliched and gushy but I still loved it terribly. Um, if you aren't really into a lot of romance and fairy tales, obviously this is not the kind of book for you but if you want something light and an easy read, this is definitely one of those books. Also living with Kyle, we have his maid, Magna? Maga? Magna? Uh... <laughs> anyway, he has a maid and he has a tutor, Will. Will is blind, so you can't ever see exactly how gross Kyle is. Um, and Will has a, a dog, a pilot, like a, a, a seeing eye dog. And they live with him in this house. Eventually, Lindy comes to live with them also, kind of through this weird turn of events. It follows the story of Beauty and the Beast, especially the Disney version, pretty faithfully step for step, but with some really interesting ways that they do it through modernizing it, which I loved. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I love the way that they just they read so much and how he starts to discover more of the world by reading characters that are kind of similar to him. He reads The Phantom of the Opera and The Hunchback of Notre Dame um, and a lot of books like this. Picture of Dorian Gray and he really starts to think about his actions and how he's influencing other people which is cool to see this actual transformation. This inner one as well as the outer one and how he actually manages to win Lindy's heart. I do like kind of his dad and his, his dad kind of totally doesn't want anything to do with this. He tries to change him back, like get plastic surgery and stuff and do anything he can to have this normal son and doesn't want anybody to know about it. He makes Will sign a non-disclosure agreement that he can't talk about what's going on in the house or what Kyle is. Um, so that was a cool take on this. It was kind of heartbreaking to see his dad kind of just completely be an ass. Um, but at least Kyle changes. Mm. The movie based off this book kind of only loosely follows it. Um, the book is definitely better than the movie, although I did enjoy the movie. The movie has Neil Patrick Harris, and that was awesome, but not the greatest movie in 
cinematic history, but also not terrible either. So if you're thinking about watching the movie, um, it's very fluffy and fairy taleish, and not very deep. Basically, I really just love this book. It is adorable and very romantic, and the fairy tale is very sweet and perfectly done. So if that is what you're looking for in a book, this is definitely it. I cannot wait to read more of Alex Flynn's writing. Yeah, this one. <laughs> I can't wait to read more of Alex Flynn's other books. Um, but I just, I really loved, I really loved Beastly. This book was awesome. So, yeah. Peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye!